church members say this was a great opportunity to help this community to begin the process of healing. They appreciated everyone that came out for tonight's prayer service. They say this is the beginning to start transforming lives and transforming communities. New Psalmist Baptist Church was filled with people who all came out to stand as one. The church hosted a one-hour prayer service on Thursday to help the Baltimore community heal. We are really standing in the need of prayer right now, so we just wanted to stand and agree and come together in order to pray for our city and pray for our nation and pray for our young people. Kiana, a single mother, says she wants to keep prayer at the forefront of her six-year-old son's life. I try my hardest to keep him under my wing and help him to go in the right paths and direction. Many church leaders say our youth in underprivileged communities are hurting. It is the desperate cries of some persons to be heard. Um, is that the appropriate method? Probably not. Is that the best method? Probably not. Church members are calling on leaders in the community to stand tall, leaders like Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford, who attended Thursday's prayer service. We're looking at what resources we can bring to what we're loosely calling the recovery effort, the rebuilding effort for families, such as what the faith community can do, but also for the businesses, for displaced workers. We've come to realize that the only resource we have, because our bag of tricks is empty, there's nothing left in our toolkit. The only thing we have is the name of the Lord, which is a strong tower.